Hello, everybody. Uh, this is me again, and uh, in this video, I'm going to I'm going to explain to you how we use closures in C sharp. Okay, so closures, if you think about them, are very similar to blocks in Objective C, and they are some sort of a, another, if you will, another form of a function, if you will. So what you're going to do, we're going to just go ahead and dive in quickly. We define a simple closure, C1. Okay, uh, I'm going to call it C closure C1 because I have defined already one before that. I'm going to call it, and the way you define the closure, you just you open a bracket, two curly brackets, one open and close, and then you can put your code in here, the definition of your closure in here. Okay, so the, unlike functions, uh, functions you define the function first and then you have a beginning and ending. So there is a, a, a certain syntax we have to follow when we define closure, but let's start with a simple one. one. One simple line, I'm gonna say print line, print line, and then we can say hello. Okay. All right, so that's it. Now, to call this closure, you call it like a function. You use the same variable name that you defined here. So you say cc1, and then you say cc1, and then you close it, and you call it. All right, so it's a function. If you wanna see the output, click on this, and then you'll see at the end, hello there, in your, uh, in your console, okay? You can also define closure and pass values to it. So you can say cc1, cc2 equal, in this case, I'm gonna say closure. And the way it works, you have to follow a certain syntax. So you can say, similar to a function, you say uh, A, and then you say example, for example, string. And then here, you can say, I wanna pass back a value. So I'm gonna return back a value. And then you say, because it's a string, I'm gonna say string. Now here's the beginning of the closure. You have to use a word in, and now you can type in the code that you want. Okay, now you can have multiple lines or just one line. And here I'm going to say return. Uh, and uh, we're gonna say here, just dear, dear, okay, slash, a, the value that is being to us, being passed to us. So this function now requires, or this closure requires a parameter, and to call it, you could put cc2, and then you need to pass a value, okay? okay like this. So now, you'll see this is the value that is being passed, and this is what you will receive, this is the value that is being returned. Okay, A, Omar is being passed to it, and this is what that is being returned. You can, of course, assign it to any variable, like uh, string. Okay, and then now the value that is being returned is assigned to string one. Okay, so this is another type of uh, a closure. Now you can pass a closure, you can create a closure without any parameters or without, and it doesn't return any value. So I'm going to copy this and Command V, this is CC3, and here I'm use different type, let's say int. Now, I'm not gonna receive any parameters, and I'm not gonna receive any, I'm, gonna return, I'm not going to return anything. So here's how you do that. You can just say, you not receiving anything, empty parameters, and that you're not returning anything. And here you do it this way, you just, of course you can define var A equal, 20, and then you say a equal a, let's say a plus plus, and then you can say print line a equal, and then put the value of a. So this is all within the closure, okay? No parameters, nothing, okay? I'm not passing any parameters to this, okay? Uh, all right, and then what's going on here? We have an error. Consecutive statement cannot be. All right, let's see. Oh, we need let here. All right, now we need. We can say just simply call CC3, and then with no parameters, no value, and then you should get C and output 20 and A is 21. All right, so this is another 
this this one has no parameter and it does not return any value okay no arms arms and no no return okay now there are closures are useful for example with arrays where you can define a sorted array like you define an array and then you can define the different sort functions that you want that can be used with uh, to sort this array uh, let's define an array. Let names, dummy names, dummy names, okay, equal to uh, a. Well, let's not just put different a's. A um, sorted differently. Let's see, comma b, comma a. Um, uh, and just that's that's it. Three is fine. Now you can define a closure to sort these. Okay, and it's used in combination uh, with a, a function available in Swift, which is called sorted. So you can say let uh, sort this uh, sort ascending, for example, equal to, and then this closure receives two values, two string values. So it receives a as a string and comma receive b as a string and all it does it returns which whether they are uh, it compares the two it compares the two and it returns a boolean okay if true or false and it checks in it returns if a is less than b. Okay, it returns a less than b. So this it would test if this is if a is less than b, it returns true. If otherwise, it returns false. Okay, and then this closure will be used later on in another function, which is called uh, okay. What's the error here? Invalid V declaration because we already have one. So, okay, so AA. Uh, what we're going to do, we use, let's say, sort AA or sort names, ascending names, okay. And then we call this function called sorted. And then we give it the, name, the array name that we're going to use, which is dummy names. Then here I can say, use the closure that I want to do the checking for me, which is this one, sort AA. So if I say sort AA, okay, it will call this function with this array, and, it, and this, function, this closure, it checks if A is less than B, fine, return true. Otherwise, it will return false. And along with this so we're using closure along with this function sorted to sort an array now you, of course you could do the same thing all you have to do for the descending command copy command v and then sort descending for example and then here you switch the value and then notice what's going to happen here uh, if I use sort descending instead of sort AA, now it would sort them the other way around. All right, so this is closures. Another way we can use closures. There's another function called map, which I, I like. Uh, you can, let's say you have an array of integers. In, uh, um, let integers or numbers, dummy numbers, equal to, I have an array of one, two, three, four, five, whatever, okay? And I want to define a fun, I want to cube those values, okay? You can do it, of course, by you having a loop and go through the loop, and uh, through the array, and then print them all out. Or you can define, use a map function with a closure to do that for you. And the way you do this, you can go like this. You can say, let cube values 
dummy cube dummy values okay equal and then you use a map function okay and then again you give it the source which is dummy number dummy what did we call it dummy numbers no dummy nums okay and then you need you define the closure here i'm not going to define another uh, like a closure and assign it to a variable all you do here for example you just put it inside the function call so you say uh, uh, here's your closure you say i'm going to receive an, an parameter a as an int and i'm going to return also as an, an int n this is the body of the closure and i'm going to say all i do is a return uh, a times a times a times a all right and now we close the closure and then we close the call to the function okay and now we should get the values okay if you look at this all right here are the values okay the cube values no this is not it we're not printing why it didn't show but it should show you the values here okay let cube numbers yeah all right and if you cube value cube what do you call dummy names? It should show me the cube value of that. You see that? It shows you 1, 8, 27, and so forth. Okay, so this is another way of using closures uh, with the map function. All right, you can, there's a lot more usage to this, but this should get you started at least to understand what closures mean. All right, so this is the end of this video, and I'll see you in the next video, hopefully.